Hey everybody, it's Rosie and in this video I am making lemon garlic pork chops. This is a very easy meal to make so it is perfect for all of my beginners. So I'm starting off at my chopping board and I'm just going to start slicing a yellow onion. This is a medium size uh, yellow onion and I also have a large uh, lemon here that I'm going to try to thinly slice but it didn't quite work out that way so you could just slice it any type of shape or form you want. <laughs> So we're going to move all that stuff to the side and now it's time to season our pork chops. And I'm using um, thin cut pork chops with bone in and I'm also using thick boneless pork chops. Just to show you, you can use whatever pork chops you want to use. So now I'm going to drizzle on some olive oil and I just made sure I rubbed all that olive oil in. And I'm going to season my pork chops using some garlic. You can use fresh garlic or dehydrated garlic like I'm using. I'm also using black pepper and some basil flakes. So once all that is seasoned, I'm going to add my onions and my lemons along with my meat. Then I'm going to refrigerate everything for about 30 minutes prior to cooking just to let everything kind of like marinate. I guess that's what I'm trying to look for. <laughs> so now I'm going to pour in some olive oil at the bottom of my baked dish. Now olive oil is going to make sure my pork chops stay nice and moist while they bake. I'm going to top my pork chops with the lemons and the onions. I want to ensure that all my pork chops are topped with lemon and onions because that is going to add the flavor. And to add more color, I'm going to sprinkle on some parsley, flakes, and paprika, of course. You all know how I get down. <laughs> so that's my finished look before it goes into the oven. And I'm going to leave it uncovered. So now we're going to bake these in the oven on 375 Fahrenheit for 20 minutes. And then we're going to broil it for 4 minutes just to add some color to the pork chops. I don't like my meat looking undercooked. So I made some rice aroni or a generic and I'm also going to warm up some canned peas. These will work as my sides. And my pork chops are done. As you can see it has that little charred mark by broiling. And I did flip these uh, like turn them while they were broiling by the way. So each side can get some color. So now it's time to plate this. And I'm going to top my pork chops with some onions. And now it's just time to dig in and just look how juicy and moist that pork chop is. And yes, again, we bake these uncovered. And that's it. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up. And next on iHeart Recipes, we'll be making some collard greens and ham hocks along with some pineapple glazed baked chicken. These are going to be some recipes you don't want to miss, so definitely tune in. Sundays are now Soul Food Sundays on iHeart Recipes, and that's when I will be sharing these two recipes, so stay tuned. Don't forget to rate, comment, and subscribe if you haven't already. See you later.